Hello everyone, as you've seen in past videos, I use Tide Cold Water Clean quite a bit for interior cleaning. Um, so you can imagine how pleased I was when I came upon um, a product from a detergent company that was made specifically for rugs and carpet and was a former as well. Not only a foamer and a spot cleaner, but um, also eliminates odors and has a Scotchgard uh, chemical, uh, Scotchgard-like chemical to it for protection when it's uh, when it's clean. So I brought this home and I want to give it a try and maybe even put it up against Tide uh, somehow and we'll see how it works. Okay, so there's no shortage of nasty mats laying around to test these chemicals on. So first one is up here. We're going to put a nice thick layer of the wool light carpet foamer on. We're going to scrub it a bit. We're going to mop it up, vac up the uh, loose dirt and take a look. What I'm looking for, what I'm hoping for is for the foam to at least turn a light brown color, showing me that it's uh, doing a little work, breaking down, lifting the dirt at least the, uh, the surface dirt. These are just quick test guys. We're not bringing in um, steamers. We're not introducing extractors. We're just doing a little bit of scrubbing and hoping it lifts some dirt and show us, show, show us a little bit of what it can do. Having high hopes for this, I gotta be honest, I'm not seeing very much going on with this product at all. Uh, I'm not even seeing the foam turn a light brown color after all the agitation. I mean scrubbing. Uh, one of the viewers uh, noted he doesn't like when I use the word agitation uh, when we're actually scrubbing, so I'm going to use the scrubbing word here. We're scrubbing and not a lot is going on. Uh, a little bit disappointing to start here. I did, however, bring up a lot of sand and uh, grainy dirt that was down at the base of the rug. So let me vacuum here quick. Then I'll mop off um, whatever else I can get from the surface and we'll take a look. All right, that's gonna about do it. Let me grab a clean microfiber. We'll mop it up here and take a look. Not really much to write home about here. Uh, how about let's take a step backwards. Let's grab a lightly soiled uh, carpet, piece of carpet here. I'll vac it first, get the loose dirt out. We'll put a nice, um, a nice layer of the wool light foam on here and give this a try. Now this mat had more dust and loose dirt on the surface uh, more than anything else, more than any grease or oil stains. And I'm still not seeing the foam turn even a light color like most of them would as it starts to break down the dirt or lift what's, uh, what's there. As for the deep, darker stains, I'm not even really seeing an attempt to, uh, to get those clean. In any case, let me mop up with a clean microfiber, maybe a quick vac, get the, uh, get the surface dirt and sand off there, then we'll take a look. Don't know about you guys, but I don't see a whole lot of improvement on this um, this mat here either. Okay, let's just see if it's the uh, the mats that I'm selecting or or what's going on. But let's let's cut this in half. On one side, we'll do the wool light. On the left side, we're going to do Tide Cold Water Clean. I'll give Tide the uh, the worst side of it. We'll give the wool light the the lighter side, and. Uh, now, this mat is absolutely horrible. We don't expect either one of these to do a whole hell of a lot the first pass, but uh, we want to see some improvement. We want to see a little bit of um, dirt being lifted, being broken down. And again, no steamers, no extractors being introduced, just uh, some light scrubbing, and then we'll, uh, we'll mop up, maybe vac quick, and take a look. 
Once again, I have to add the foam is not even turning a, a light brown color like some of the foamers I've used or tested will. Okay, I'm going to try and spend the same amount of time on the, the Tide side uh, scrubbing. And uh, this side had the, this side was worse for wear. Had a lot more grease, grime, and oil stains on it. So we'll, uh, we'll scrub here, we'll mop up, and, and take a look at both sides. All right, that's quite good enough. Let me grab a clean microfiber, mop up a bit, maybe a quick vac, and we'll take a look. I'll let you guys decide if you want to look into this. I'm going to put a link down below. Um, I can't use something like this in my world, but there you have it. All right, so the Woolite um, foaming carpet cleaner, it just does not have the, the bite that I'm looking for, for for any kind of use at my shop. I'll still put a link down below if you guys want to give it a shot. Uh, this is Brian from Apex Detail. If you want to add something to the list for us to test, um, put it down in the comment box. Catch you later, guys.